So we all know there may not be any NFL football later on this year, but don't worry about it. I got you covered. This is a top six list of things to do if there is no NFL. Uh, start off by running from your wife. You step up 23 from Paris, France, and you're watching the GR Sports Brief. So look, people, all of you guys out there probably know the NFL is on a lockout right now. No one knows if we are going to have football later on this year. But the fact remains that even if we don't, hey, I got some tips for you guys right now. Shout outs to my main man, Instant Classic 8, for coming up with this idea. And of course, I am going into the Blackberry. And we are starting off with number one as I read it. Take your ass to church, go to temple, go to mass. I don't know what you call it, but make sure you are there and that you are praying for football. And if you don't believe in any of that stuff, don't worry about it. At some point in time, the NFL will be back. You can bet your ass they are not trying to lose all that money. Going on to number two, you can start your own local football league. I mean, for example, right here in the Bronx, I am starting the BHFL. If that makes sense. That is the Bronx Harlem Football League. There's always people hanging out on uh, 138th Street and Grand Concourse. And uh, I'm just going to pick a bunch of those guys up and I'm going to make them go against the people on 145th Street who have no teeth down in Harlem. And hey, it's a local league and it'll probably be very entertaining. Moving on to number three. Get your fat ass up and exercise. This comes from my main man, Big Jibby McJenkins on Twitter. I just sit in front of a TV from 1 to 12 every Sunday during football season. Now look at this guy right there. That is not Big Jibby McJenkins, but this is what America's youth looks like. You got a fat ass kid sitting there with a terrible bowl haircut, his shorts are too small, and he's eating potato chips in front of a stupid ass TV. There's no NFL, there's no excuse to have a bunch of fat ass males walking around the United States of America. And speaking of people doing right for themselves, hey, there is no school. Oh, wait, I said that wrong. There is no NFL, but there is plenty of school going on between the months of September and uh, February. So make sure your ass studies so you don't have to pay for it by the time June comes around. I know a lot of you guys are already going to get left back. Oh, yeah. Stop watching JR Sport Brief in school. Next of all, the CFL, the AFL, the UFL. Don't watch that. These guys play hard. I mean, look at that guy right there with no helmet. But the fact remains that this is minor league football, if you ask me. These guys want to be in the NFL, and the bottom line is, hey, I couldn't find any of these damn guys on TV, even if I wanted to. So don't let that be an alternative. And number six, this is probably the most important thing. And I don't need a Blackberry for this one. Do not. Do not let your woman, your girlfriend, your wife, Whatever the hell you call her, do not let her monopolize your time. I don't want to see a bunch of men sitting around in the malls. Uh, we're going to see a bunch of men outside gardening and, and, and mowing the lawn and taking out the trash. Don't end up traumatized like that guy right there. Do not let your woman monopolize your time. This is JR. Go find me on Twitter. Go find me on Facebook. Hit me up with some more tips. What are some things to do if there is no NFL later on this year? And bottom line, NFL will come back. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go start recruiting recruiting uh, bums on 138th Street and 145th Street in Harlem. I am out. Peace. Let's all hope for NFL.